welcome back to what is now round seven. Uh, when we left off, uh, we were looking at changing uh, some bad code with actions, where I was treating actions incorrectly. Uh, we now should be selecting out the actions that match our input into a single action. Uh, the rest of this code should work properly. We're deleting the extra inventory, and I remembered while I was sitting there twiddling my thumbs watching the video upload uh, one of the other functions I thought we wanted to add, which was just going to be an inventory. Short term. incredibly unuser friendly game, but if you want to tinker with this and see if you can improve it, we'll leave you with plenty of things to do. One really useful way to do debugging, uh, well, short of actually using some of the actual real debugging options that Ruby provides, uh, two favorite options are uh, having a global sort of debug variable that you just use as a conditional on all of your debug messages, so you can quickly turn debugging off or on for the entire thing. Uh, another useful option is Ruby has a really nice built-in uh, logger library. Uh, it's really simple to create one of those when your program initializes and just uh, smuggle it down to all of your classes that need to do logging. And then if you happen to have that disabled or change the threshold on creation in that one spot, uh, logging will automatically cut itself out wherever you don't want it. That's very nice and something to look into if you're actually doing a real application in Ruby. Uh, so let's see. We wanted to see if I could wave. Wave is still an invalid command. Let's go see if we can see what's going on in there. Mm. All right. Uh, let's see. Actions uh, as a list of lists. The first item is a text string.
select returns an array of items, and we only want the first true happen there. Sandwich. Well, that's nice. Uh, quest feed. Undefined method length for nil. Oh, okay, something came back nil. So 53. Mm. Oh, right, because I checked that. Uh, uh, check that. So this is now. us at a pretty good place. Uh, it may have taken an hour and 45 minutes, but we've managed to create a single class, very simple structure, uh, text-based game. Uh, it's pretty short, less than 150 lines of code. Uh, there's a lot of room for improvement where we can uh, extract a, a lot of redundant code out. Uh, probably makes sense to have a lot of the room logic handled somewhere else. Probably a different Ruby file. Uh, we could do a lot of neat work uh, with making the the actions a little more interesting, making them making so we basically don't have the actual logic hard coded here. Uh, however, at this point, we're out of the scope of the the stuff that is simple and straightforward for me to do quickly in Ruby, and it would just be a lot of trial and error probably less interesting. Uh, all of this code uh, will be, I'll go commit it right now, will be available on the link to git repository. Uh, so if you want a starting point, you're welcome to grab uh, this and tinker with it and see if you can fix issues or add new features. Um, see how the response is to these. If people are interested, I might end up doing some more of the uh, items on underscore Mad K's list, uh, which even if you're not interested in these videos, I highly recommend you uh, work through on your own. There's a lot of really good stuff there. Uh, but if there's interest, I'll look into uh, purchasing the full version of Screencast-O-Matic so I don't have to do this 15 terrible minutes at a time. Uh, thank you uh, for watching.